BDCs are relevant today uh, because since the 2008 crisis, bank lending to small and mid-sized companies has dropped off considerably. What the BDC allows the individual investor to do is to step in and play the role of lender to these middle market companies. And that finances these businesses' growth as well as their job creation for the economy. By playing the role of lender, these individual investors are able to generate a premium income return, which is growing increasingly difficult in the world we live in. There are two types of BDCs. There are those that are publicly listed and there are those that are private. So the publicly listed BDCs um, offer daily liquidity. Uh, but you have to invest at whatever price around that asset value exists at that time, and that may swing dramatically around the underlying fundamentals of the loans in the BDC. Some BDCs can trade at a considerable premium, which means you're paying more than that asset value. Some may trade at a considerable discount and remain at that discount. A private BDC, you're investing at net asset value. So you're investing at the par level, which is the underlying fundamentals of the companies. The BDC is locked up, your investment, over a course of a number of years, say four to six years, and then that BDC, that private BDC, is taken to the public markets. So the original investor gets their liquidity through a liquidity event like that. You don't get access to yields this high without taking risks, and you have to be under, you have to be comfortable with and understand the risks that you're taking in investing in a BDC. I would say there's three primary risks that you take in investing in a BDC. The first of them is information risk. So most of the loans are made to privately held companies. And there may not be adequate information available the way you're used to with a publicly traded company. So it's important when you choose a BDC to choose one with an investment manager who has significant experience in making these credit investments. The second major risk is credit risk, basic credit risk, because some companies default they go sour, they can't meet their debt obligations. Um, here, we prefer senior loans, those loans that are paid out ahead of other forms of debt and equity in the capital structure, loans that are collateralized against assets or cash flow of the company. Thirdly, there is liquidity risk. You know, liquidity risk, some BDCs don't provide access to liquidity in the short term. So if you have a client who has a need for short-term cash in the short term, that the BDC may not provide that type of liquidity and the BDC may not be appropriate for them.